teams will be playing a Dreamtime game on Saturday afternoon, Gilbert, and the occasion will be made even more significant with the best player on the ground receiving the Sir Doug Nichols medal. Our next guest tonight is the daughter of the great Sir Doug Nichols. Please welcome Annie Palm Pedersen. <laughs> Pam, it's great to have you on the show and uh, the daughter of, of the great man, Sir Doug Nichols. You must be proud as a family member, you know, for your father to be recognised in this way. I'm very proud. It's, it's such a, you know, special, uh, it's going to be such a special weekend and I'm just so happy. I just feel so happy to be here and it's so wonderful to see here, everyone here this evening and all you guys and what a lovely time we're all going to have over the weekend. Yeah, it's always a big event. You, you can feel the atmosphere, can't you, Gilly? And always. all the mobs have come from all around Australia. You can see in the audience tonight there's mobs from every nook and cranny from everywhere right around the country. <laughs> so it's great to see everybody in the audience. But uh, your father was recently nominated, Sir Doug, for the Hall of Fame in the AFL. And uh, I understand he's been nominated a couple of times, but he hasn't right. been accepted. Uh, your family must be a bit concerned about that and, and the Aboriginal community have been talking about it as well, you know, why he hasn't been. Do you know why well, that is? We feel very disappointed that Dad um, hasn't been inducted to the Hall of Fame because we have been trying, you know, to have this happen for a couple of years now and we really feel it is about time yep. um, because look what he's achieved. Yep. You know, not, not only on the football uh, field but as an Aboriginal leader for our people yeah. and, you know, it'd be just wonderful if um, that could happen to you. Yeah, yeah no, look, Auntie Pam, it's always great to catch up with you and see you. Look, you just, I, uh, I just remember in South Australia with, when he was the Governor of South Australia with Dunstan. I also remember him running in the stall, stall gift. He wasn't just a great footballer, he wasn't just a great humanitarian, he was a champion person. He was. He was a fabulous person for Aboriginal people. Mm. But not only Aboriginal people, but for non-Aboriginal people too. He fought very hard for our, for our people and it's just wonderful, all his achievements and for Dad, you know, to becoming the first Aboriginal Governor of South Australia. What an achievement. Brilliant. The boy from Cumbra Gunja. <laughs> <laughs> 